difficulty I, I found transitioning between uh, technical metal and um, what we do in Devil Soul to Soul was going from something where you you were filling gaps within a track. Um, you were writing as a composition part rather than um, having to write hooks and melodies and and bits that were going to stand out a lot more to the listener. I found definitely some people probably see technical metal as a more complex thing to write vocals to, but it's just a different type of challenge. The biggest challenge with Devil is you know you've got to write something that people are going to engage with um, and that the melodies that you do put forward have to be absolutely on the mark because if they're not then people are going to notice that. I guess musically there's less going on there's more focus on that for you to have to do for you to have to do something that's yeah. there's more pressure on you yeah definitely way. I mean it's with tech, me tech metal definitely there's it's like everyone's doing gymnastics it's like going to a circus and it's like trapeze is going all over the place and you've got to be a part of that whereas um, with devil because you guys lay a platform that's um, much more steady and st stable we kind of sit sit on top of it almost yeah. not Perfect not above it but like on top yeah, yeah. of it in terms of a different layer that some people will only really focus on that layer yeah totally i've heard it a lot in, in the tech band scene and this isn't a, a criticism of them but there's almost everyone striving to have every note exact bang on bang on the beat bang on um the absolute note there's no there's a lot less human human side and organicness to um, what's written in there um, obviously, there are bands that do that really well within the technical. There's definitely a place area. for it. Yeah, hundred percent. And some people really want that sort of style. But I've, I found definitely coming over to this this type of this genre that we've got um, and the sound that we have, um, you've got more freedom to put feel into the music. And I think you can lack that sometimes in certain other genres, especially not necessarily just tech metal, but some of the technical side as well, where people focus so much on. Or just the tiniest little elements that you take away some of that human aspect. Probably it's because the options there these days to be able to do that too, so easily as well. Yeah. Just like it's too easy to make well to make everything perfect and overprocess it and all that sort of thing. Which again, like has its place, and I'm not against that. But it does well can take away the human side of it. That's where the feeling comes from, doesn't it? So yeah, agreed. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. And with that, it. it it then goes over, you know, with recording and being able to do pretty much anything you want to do, put on record, you can do it now. And sometimes you, you get the feeling that some bands might try and put every idea into every song, uh, which sometimes it works and it's great. But I think with us, we're, we're a, bit, a little bit more like, as PG says, just, we have like a steady platform of what the song is. And then we will layer it up, but within that, musically, we're not trying to change and do too many ideas musically within each song, rather than just create this kind of more like this dense piece. Yeah. But it's stable, isn't it? Yeah. It adds, it adds, um, it doesn't detract from anything. So you're not going to say when you say like loads of bands will try and put everything into a track. Are you going to remember all those bits? Yeah. Yeah. And that's that's a really, yeah. that's a real challenge you've got. Make a song memorable and make the parts that you put in it memorable and give them enough time to breathe without crowding everything out. And I think that's that's a real art because there's so many bands that do try to do too much. Um, it, yeah, It's like the, the paint in the picture analogy. When is a picture finished? Yeah, It's like you can easily go too far and make it worse. I think, like you say, it's an art in itself knowing when enough is enough. Yeah, so, I mean, the collaborative effort, it has changed. I mean, I remember... Although I think I think it's probably it might be changed a bit more when I joined because I, I needed help I needed help from uh, to start getting my teeth into how Devil kind of was meant to sound um, and how, how we wrote because I, I I just remember when I started working on Time and Unveiled and and I you and PK were coming round yeah. and we were like literally I was I had so much self doubt about any ideas that I had I needed someone to be there to sort of bounce ideas off and and just kind of like throw ideas at me to, to get, get me going. Whereas this, this record has been completely, I don't know, we've just all just bounced off each other. It's been wicked. It's, it's made, it's made a massive difference to how 
the positivity flows around the practice studio when you're writing. Yeah. Not yeah. to say that any of the old albums weren't, but we just think about Lost, how we the, wrote Lost, like the yeah. the siren, you know, the the um, crossing alarm, turning that into the intro for a song. But you know, we all connected with it because it was a shared experience. But then with, with the writing of everything, the, the the last song on the album was driven by peach just saying you know Is i've it? got this idea for a melody let's build it around that it was just different ways of working but a lot more collaborative between us i think songwriting wise that's one of my favorite things about being in the band is that i don't think we've ever had a conversation like oh this needs to be heavier or this needs to be this year or you know lighter huh. or quiet bits that's a good or, point. it's yeah. just we just do a song it's like this could come next this could come next never never looking for anything to force you know was it square peg into yeah exactly we, we know what's missing if there's something missing yeah and we'll add to it there's never a case of like oh we've got to try this for the sake of it or try and be heavier or try and be this or i think that's what makes it feel natural and that's what probably why we're still excited and still going and stuff because we're never trying to catch catch anyone up we're just being ourselves 